Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Today, we're gonna to talk about money blocks because you know, money blocks and money mindset are kind of buzzwords lately and you might not even know what they really are. So today, let's talk about money blocks. Come on. I'm Dr. Beverly Wixon, former public school English teacher turned money mindset mentor and coach. If I can change my money mindset when everybody in the world told me I didn't make enough money so I couldn't afford things, then I know that you can too. So, let's get started. You might be wondering, what the heck is all this talk about money blocks? Well, basically, at its simplest form, money blocks are simply the mental blocks that you have around money. They could come from memories, they could come from things you say, things you've heard said hundreds of times, things that you've read, things you've heard on television, things strangers have said to you. For instance, I was a public school teacher and I walked into teaching thinking I was going to change the world until everyone told me, oh, you know, nobody goes into teaching to get rich. Nobody goes into teaching to work eight to five. Nobody goes into teaching to make money. Teachers aren't paid nearly enough. And that was said to me not only by colleagues, but also by building administrators, district administrators, family, friends, and every stranger I ever met on the street. <laughs> every person I ever said, I'm a teacher too, went, oh, teachers don't get paid enough money. So I thought I was always broke and I didn't make enough money. And you know what? When I thought it, it was real. It didn't change until I started to realize that by thinking that constantly, by hearing it and listening to it and agreeing with it and even saying it, I was blocking money from coming to me. See, I truly believe them. the money's out there. God and his magnificent universe want everybody to be abundant. We just have to accept that it's there and allow it to come to us. But when we say these things, we have these feelings, then it can't come to us. So I thought today I would just list off a few money blocks for you, just in case you're not sure exactly what they are. So are you ready? This is not an exhaustive list. It's just a short list. <laughs> but things like feeling like there's not enough money in the world. I mean, how many of us were told, eat all your dinner because there are starving children someplace? Personally, I thought, well, why can't we mail it to them? Because I don't like green beans. Still don't like green beans. But that couldn't happen. So, but I believed there wasn't enough money in the world because there were all of these starving children in different places. Another money block that a lot of people have is that you have to work really, really hard to make money. Well, you know, if you put money into the bank and you start saving money, compound interest, works for you. And that's a fantastic thing. And it's not you working really hard. It's just that your money's in there working hard. So let's change that thought. Another one is that people have to be lucky to make money or people have to have money to make more money or that things work out for other people, but not for me. We probably all had those kind of thoughts in our heads at different times. A couple of others are simply, it is what it is. If I'm not rich now, I never will be. If it was meant to be, it would be, or it will be, or the stars are against us, or God is against me, or the universe is against me, or the world is against me. All of those start to make people feel like they can never make money. And the fascinating thing is when they think that, it's usually true. And of course, there's the four fears. Fear of leaving your comfort zone, fear of change, fear of losing all your friends, and fear of failure. And to be honest with you, there's even more fears than that. <laughs> there's also feeling unworthy, feeling insignificant, feeling like everybody else knows more than you do, playing small so that other people can shine because you're afraid that if you shine too much, see it's another fear, that those people will leave you. And then of course there's fears, good buddy, doubt, doubting your own abilities, doubting that you know enough, doubting that it will work out for you, doubting 
that anything you do will bring that kind of success. As I said, this is not an exhaustive list of money blocks. It's just a short list of money blocks that I had and that I know most people have. What I'd like for you to do is try to find out some of your own blocks by simply answering a question. Well, actually, it's not a question. It's a fill in the blank. I want you to write the statement, I can't be rich and successful because, and then fill in that blank with as many things as you can think of. Try to get at least 10, 25 is even better. Why is it that you think you can't be rich? And put those answers in the comments below because those are part of your personal money blocks. And just let me tell you, some of mine were because I'm blonde, because I'm female, because I'm a teacher, because no one in my family has ever been rich. Those were some of mine. And I had to overcome those and you can overcome yours too. You can shift your thinking and change it all. By the way, I'm hosting a free three-day challenge in my Facebook group, Money Mindset Magic for Women. And if you wanna come join it, I'll put the link in the description below. It's called Live a Rich Life Now, without stress, without debt, without worry. Love to have you come join us so that you can learn to live a rich life now as you're starting to clear some of these money blocks. So you've got a few tasks to do today. This isn't just a watch and go, this is a do. I can't be rich and successful because, put some of your answers in the comments below. Two, hit the subscribe button, even ring the bell so that you get notifications. And three, sign up for the free challenge. It starts on November 14th, <laughs> November 14th, 2022 at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Replays will be available in case you need to see them. So I hope to see you there. And if not, I'll at least see you next week. Bye-bye.